right, what's up guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make a cloth in Cinema 4D. Um, I uploaded a video about it, or an animation of it, yesterday or the day before that, and it got some good feedback, got over 100 likes, so I decided I'd make the tutorial. Um, it is very simple to do, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and open up Cinema 4D. Very simple to do, but actually looks extremely realistic. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, you're gonna open up your Cinema 4D. I'm using um, R12. Um, I'm not sure if it works with 11.5, um, but you guys can always try it. Uh, leave a comment below if it actually doesn't, so that people don't waste their time. Sorry, I couldn't provide the information, but <laughs> so yeah, what you're gonna want to do first is go ahead and make a plane. Um, normally, I would use a floor for a floor. Uh, so that I could put uh, all the stuff on it, but um, today we're going to be using a plane because this is what it works with. Uh, it doesn't work with a floor. So for the width, I'm just going to type in 9999999, make it infinite pretty much. Um, so you know you can see every you can't you can barely see the end of it. Um, and then after that, you're going to go ahead and want to insert the object that you want the cloth to fall over. Or if you don't even want an object, if you don't even want the cloth to fall over an object, then you can just leave it blank. But I'm going to go ahead and insert a cube. And let me close this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and insert a cube. And that is what um, the object or the, the cloth is going to fall onto. Um, and we can just go ahead and make it whatever size, whatever we want. And then once you're, gonna, once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and come back to the square looking, the cube. And click on plane, spawn another plane, and then go ahead and make it as big as you want the cloth to be. So I'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger than the um, than the cube, and raise it up. Then once you're done with that, you'll go ahead and click on the cube and the plane, the the the, um, the cloth, and you'll make both of them editable. You can do that by hitting C on the keyboard, and then you'll right click on on either one go to um, cloth tags and then cloth actually you're gonna have to click on the cloth my bad my bad click on the cloth right click go to cloth tags click on cloth and then go to cube right click go to cloth tags and click on collider now if you go ahead and hit play you'll see the cloth or the, the plane falls down on the cube like it's a cloth if I go ahead and render this out though right now you can see it's very, very not good looking. Um, there's a lot of rigid edges and things like that. So what you can do to fix that is um, go to your either selection tool, click on CTRL or yeah, CTRL A to Control A to uh, select everything. Right click and hit subdivide and subdivision by one. Um, that sometimes helps it out. Um, if I render it out, yeah, it's still pretty, pretty bad looking. So what you're gonna want to do is undo all of this, and before you make it an editable object, you'll click on the plane, the cute or the, uh, the cloth, my bad, and make each segment. I put it up to 50 for the animation I made. Then after it's at 50, which is as you can see a very high amount, you can go ahead and redo those steps. So make it editable, make it editable. And then you will go ahead and re-add the tags onto your objects. Let me do that real quick. And then if you go ahead and hit play now, the cloth will it will it will be a little laggy. Um, but the cloth will look a lot better and look more like a cloth instead of a uh, rigid little thing. As you can see here, looks a lot more like a cloth and. Um, once you've added your specific lighting and all that good stuff, you will have a nice looking scene. So thanks for watching guys. Um, very simple tutorial and I hope it helped. So peace guys.